Okay. I didn't think I actually have to make a video like this, but I'm going to let you guys know that my Fortnite account did get hacked, and I know I'm, a, I'm an adult, should probably be playing it, but I have fun doing it anyway, so whatever. But it got hacked. I was at work. I get a Snapchat from my buddy. He's like, yo, why are you on Xbox? And I'm like, I'm not. I haven't logged into my Xbox in a very long time. But evidently, on your PC, when you have... When you have the Xbox app and you're logged into it, it will sync your accounts. So it synced my Fortnite account. So the individual hacked my Xbox account and in turn got my Fortnite account because he linked it to the Xbox that he was on. And I saw that in my email. And I'm like, well, you know, shit. So what do I do? So I sent him a message. and I'm like, yo, get off my account. I know it's my account. I want you to get off it. He then probably was a dumb move. Enabled two-factor authentication, put his information in there. I wasn't able to get into it. It was a long story, and uh, so I emailed play, uh, Epic Games, and so I emailed their player support, and that email, I will have it in the description. It is the email you need to email directly. This is everything you need to give them in one email for them to know it's your account. Every single thing you're going to need to give them. They need... An invoice from when you made a purchase, whether it was for the game or for V-Bucks, skins, anything in the game, you will have that invoice sent to your email. You need that invoice number. It will start with an A dash and then a number after it. You then need to give them your local IP address. You can find that simply by going to what is my IP and it will tell you on Google. Then you're going to have to send them a photo of a government issued ID, a military ID, and or a passport. You don't have to give them the passport number and all that. I sent them just a picture of my face, my address, my name, birth date, everything, just so they could correlate the two. And then you're going to have to tell them when the last time you logged on on your Fortnite account on your IP. You have to tell them the exact time, not the time, but the day you logged in. And then you have to give them anything associated with your Fortnite account, like if you've linked your Twitch account, if you've linked an Xbox or a PS4 other than your PC, or if you're on PS4 or Xbox and you've linked something else, you have to make sure you give them that as well. I then proceeded to give them the like reference number that I got from Microsoft, which helped them out as well, but you don't have to give them that, but you just need to tell them in your email, hello, my account has been compromised. Someone now basically owns your account, not you. And they can do whatever they want with that account once they have that information. And uh, luckily, I don't have my card linked to my account. I have PayPal, and he couldn't get to my PayPal account. And I had my email, but I already had 2FA on my email, and he couldn't get into that. And uh, when you send them all of that information, you are going to be uh, given another email that will say, we apologize for the inconvenience you have experienced, and thank you for bringing this to our attention. They'll issue a hard password reset, which will log everybody off immediately. And they will give you a new password to log into. And then they'll tell you to enable 2FA, which is not, which is not a bad thing. I actually, I enabled 2FA. And, um, yeah. So, like, once you, so once you give them all the other information that I gave you, then they're going to ask for a passport identification. Recent rent or mortgage statement is also what they're going to ask for. Any, any one of those three things, passport or government issue ID or recent rent or mortgage statement, just to make sure that it correlates with the, everything that you need. And also, you will actually, before you send them that, will have to give them, with that list of stuff that I gave you, a uh, your address. It will have to give them city, state, and zip code, just to correlate with everything that you have given them already. And um, basically, once I did all that, and everything it was very very fast process took maybe three days got all my stuff back everything and uh they'll need an original display name as well again i'll have all this in the description listed one in a row that you'll need to do this has been a big issue recently they're going to need on file a account that you use to buy stuff with like if you have your credit card on on there they'll need the last four digits of that but if you don't you can give them their your paypal account and your paypal email and whatever banking account last four digits you have, that also does work too. I was worried it wasn't going to work for me, and it did work. It only took about three to four days, and I had my account back, and everything was fine. But 
for those three to four days, I was worried he was going to either get rid of a whole bunch of stuff or just wipe my account out completely. And I don't know what else I would have done to get it back because I have a lot of stuff on my account. And uh, props to Epic. They are on the ball. They got everything taken care of. They um, they really just, uh, yeah, they, they really took it the bull by the horns on this one. So if you guys need any help with this, if, with this problem, please... Just feel free to comment in the comment section. Feel free to ask me any questions. Send me an email through uh, YouTube. Ask me some questions if you want. You can tweet me. You can at me on anything. You can you can fucking Snapchat me if you want. But if you guys need uh, you know any questions answered, just let me know, and I will be there to help. I will put the email address in the description. I will put everything you need in the description. And uh, if you guys like the video, subscribe. If you didn't, then don't subscribe. Hit the unlike button if you didn't like it. But just trying to help everybody out, man. Have a good one.